Hi and welcome to Heath Software's short video series on endpoint security. I'm Rob Kelsall and I'm joined by my colleague Rene Gonzalez and in this session we're going to be covering an introduction to some of the more advanced reports that you're going to see in the Heat solution. On some of the previous sessions Rene we saw the granularity of, of detail that that Heat can offer in terms of vulnerabilities that are not patched on systems or groups of systems. And that's going to be really useful for your day-to-day -day administrators to, to kind of figure out which patches they want to prioritize and remediate. But from more of a high-level compliance and reporting perspective, how can we summarize that information um, for security managers? It, it's quite easy, actually. So when I talk to customers, um, IT no, no longer IT has to prove that they're in compliance when it comes to missing security updates or vulnerability management. And what we have to offer within the product is, just by following the workflow, is under reports. And we do offer a large variety of canned reports and also custom reports. But what I'm going to focus on is enhanced reports. And basically these enhanced reports is what we call market driven because these were based on customers requirements. We just took those requirements and made them available to all of our customers to take advantage of. But one of the two popular reports that uh, customers enjoy is the Patch Tuesday dashboard by group. So those of you who are not familiar with Patch Tuesday, Patch Tuesday is basically the week, the second Tuesday of every month, but it's the week when Microsoft releases all their security updates. Now when it's a large Patch Tuesday, when it's over 10 or 15, even 20 bulletins, or when it catches a lot of press, the business would like to challenge IT and ask IT, well, what's the impact to the business when it comes to the latest Patch Tuesday? Because I heard on the internet or on my RSS feed that this is a large security bulletin or Microsoft released over 20 security bulletins. So within the enhanced reports, I'm going to select the Patch Tuesday dashboard by group. I'm going to pick on my Windows desktops as an example. So now what I can do is easily report what the impact is when it comes to the latest Patch Tuesday releases by Microsoft for my Windows desktop group. And here, as you can see, we display the number of missing security updates or the number of bulletins that were released by Microsoft. Uh, we also include a nice pie chart so you can easily identify what the risk is. And we also include a compliance score because most uh, IT security officers or even upper management do like compliance scores. Okay. Now as you can see here that pretty much high risk when it comes to the latest Patch Tuesday security updates released by Microsoft on my Windows desktops. So now I can tap the shoulder of my Windows desktop guy and ask him, what are you going to do about this problem? This is your problem to fix. Let me pick on my servers real quick. As you can see, from a risk perspective, a little bit better, um, but still there's some risk. And now I can talk to my Windows Server guys and ask them what's their plan to mitigate against this risk. And that plan could be, it's already planned, these missing updates are going to get targeted or delivered during the next maintenance window. I'm going to regenerate this report and I should be in compliance. Looks good. Thanks, Ronnie. Okay. Another popular report that allows IT to report compliance or risk back to the business is the top vulnerable endpoints by group view. Okay, Now I'm going to ask the report, give me my top 20 percentage or top 20 most insecure machines when it comes to missing security updates. So now when I generate the report, I'm going to go ahead and pick on my desktop group. And the report's going to display and share with me the risk associated with my Windows desktops. Or I can even leverage this report to report on compliance. In this particular report, I'm going to sort it by count. And so from a risk perspective, these are all the high risk machines when it comes to missing security updates. Technically, this machine that's missing over 137 security updates what that means is there's 137 opportunities for an attacker to gain unauthorized access. Now the reason why this report is so popular because it can cater to two audiences. One of those audiences is what I like to call um, the business or upper management or even um, the compliance officer. Because it's a short and concise report. 
If you print out a report that's longer than three pages and expect someone to read it, it's never going to get read. Okay? This particular report is short and concise, and it should fit no longer than three pages. Okay? So it's short and concise. It displays the risk associated with my group, or I can run this report within the entire enterprise. Now, typically what happens is IT will generate the report, give it to the business. The business will take a look at the report, give it back to IT, and say, this is your problem to fix. What are you going to do about it? So for those administrators who actually have to mitigate this risk or fix this problem, they need to know the detail as far as what security updates are missing. And we provide that same level of detail within the same report. So now what that does is it's one report that can be used by upper management or the business and the IT administrator. Thanks, Rene. And thank you for joining us on this session on patch reporting. We'll look forward to seeing you on a future session.